Hi, my name is Renee with Reality of Aging, and today's subject is going to be why do we age? Now, there's two types of aging, just so everybody knows. Let's first get on that. First type of aging is chronological. All of us are subject to this, and all of us will age chronologically at the same time. Because the only constant in this universe is time itself. So, beyond that, we have to understand that the body also ages physiologically. Now that is where things change for us. The rules change because all you have to use is common sense and science. And that's what we're going to use today to figure all this out. So why we age? We age, uh, so, so let's take a, uh, away the chronological stuff because all, all of us can just look at a watch and know what's going on. So physiologically, if your body is introduced to an enormous amount of inflammation or chronic inflammation, let's say, just an ongoing chronic state of chronic inflammation, you will age quicker than somebody that doesn't, okay? That has minimal chronic inflammation, and then for the, the majority of actually the population in the United States has an enormous amount of chronic inflammation. Now, how do you obtain, or better yet, how do we get rid of chronic inflammation? Because chronic inflammation is the basis of all the problems today, all the reasons why people get sick, infections, some cancers, Alzheimer's, you, you name it as far as diseases go, inflammation is the basis of all of this. And that's why we age, because we simply, when we were younger, this all this inflammation when we had, we could have it now or say 30, 40 years ago. It's back then, also we had a hormone level that was much higher than it is in say in our, in our early 40s and in our, in our early 50s. We basically have diminished um, our hormone levels have diminished to where our bodies aren't healing as fast, plus we got the inflammation. So two things, inflammation and lower hormones. Now, the lower hormones, the doctor will take care of that. That's something that uh, you would have to see us uh, be under the care of a doctor. But when it comes to inflammation, this we can avoid. Again, we're going back onto the food because food causes inflammation. You have environmental inflammation, which we have no control of, uh, control of or, and we also have um, inflammation through food. Now, all inflammatory foods are the ones that are actually doing all the damage, which would be sugar, alcohol, and starches. Now, all these foods cause inflammation. Now, if you would subtract that from your, the human existence, you would, be, you would understand that we would not age simply because we're able to heal quicker. So physiologically, our bodies are healing, staying younger. But chronologically, the time is still ticking. So if I can implore on everybody, please take to heart what I'm saying. The inflammation factor plus the food factor, you connect those two dots together and listen to what I'm telling you. Stay away from the pro-inflammatory foods and I guarantee you, you will age slower. I'm 42 right now. Yes, it's not old. But and I sit in a certain unique area where I can honestly say I look around me and I see my peers and I do not see the same thing. I am not, by any stretch of the imagination, an anomaly. I am simply a person putting the science to work. With common sense and science, we can achieve anything. And I implore you to stretch your minds on this one and avoid all starches, avoid all alcohol, and avoid all sugars because they are all pro-inflammatory and all of them cause inflammation and inflammation causes aging. Great. If you have any questions, please email me.